So what up, what up everybody, this is Alex. Um, I'm really happy to welcome you to my third show here on YouTube. Uh, the content for today is three click flare. And yeah, I'm gonna show you some uh, variations or some yeah, considerations related to this very famous scratch technique. So uh, basically the three click flare is a crossfader performance. That means we produce four sounds by clicking three three times. Yeah, the uh, practical the, the the common practical version goes like this: at first closing, then tap, tap, and opening. Yeah, makes four sounds incomplete, like this. The same for the E tone. Yeah, this is a three clicker. Um, it's interesting because basically, when we say we play only one click, we play it like this here, closing open, so as a one click flare. Yeah, and when we say we play three clicks, we uh, have to play it basically related to the definition of clicking like this here closing open closing open closing open yeah like this but the common practical conversion is played by using the tap motion Yeah, and there's a little uh, acoustical difference between the clicking performance and the click tap performance. Yeah. So keep in mind there are two variations basically possible, but in this tutorial we use the common variation, and this is played by tapping. Yeah. So, okay, uh, we start at first with yeah the first method to derive a new variation of the three clicker, and this is the displace method. We displace the order of crossfader sequences as I have shown in the uh, previous tutorial. So, and yeah, the normal variation is closing, tapping, tapping, opening, and now we displace the order and we start with opening closing tapping tapping so and this is interesting because of this displacing we step or we come to another very famous technique and this is the swing flare yeah you know it very well swing flare goes like this so but when we only uh, observe the crossfader performance we play opening closing tapping tapping so in this performance we use now for the forward motion or for the note that means okay so and then you can try to combine this by playing at first for the note, uh, opening, closing, tapping, tapping. We can say this is kind of like a delayed three click because we start now um, at the uh, closed fader, then we open, we close, tap, tap and then the same for the backward for the e-tone opening closing tap tap yeah i hope you got it so the next um, technique by displace the crossfader order is we play now at first tap then follows open close open close and the last sequence is tapping yeah so our sequence goes like this So 
sorry. So, tap. Uh, tap. So, I can't play it so well. It's not my goal to master this technique. This is um, your challenge. And, okay, now we came to the last variation by displacing the crossfader order and this is now tapping, tapping, open, close. Yeah, it goes like this. Sorry. Okay, all these four variations attains another acoustical result when you play it twice as long as I have done it in this demo and yeah go for it send me some video replies it will be great so now we came to um, new variations or new techniques by uh, changing the playing style yeah and the playing style is we can play the three clicker by hand mode this is the most common uh, method, then you can use the release mode. Yeah, to obtain a constant pitch for the note. 